Welcome to Analytics with Nux. In this video, we're going to see about how to create a custom tooltip in Power BI. Or if you're looking for how to create a dynamic tooltip in Power BI, this is the video for you. We're exploring Power BI using a business scenario, Naga Garments. And for this business, today we are going to answer is two questions. Like, he wants to know the sales quantity along with sales amount meaning like he wants to see a sales quantity and sales amount in a single chart whether it's doable or not let's see and his second question is he wants to know which day where the sales was peak meaning like if he sees some peak or surge in his sales then he wants to see whether he's what is the day of this uh, particular day i mean it's a sunday monday or tuesday something like that let's explore it in Power BI, how this can be achieved in uh, Tooltip. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button right now to learn the concepts in Power BI. Let's explore it in demo. I have a chart here. I filtered for January 2018. And you see here, uh, this is the sales amount the user is analyzing. His first question is, he want to see the quantity, right? So let us put that quantity along with this. The problem with this, like uh, the sales amount is in thousands, but the quantity is in within um, uh, within hundred or uh, it is very few, right? You cannot compare these kind of values, your sales amount and quantity, because each have a different values or the difference between the values are huge, so we cannot compare it. The one way to achieve is like tooltip, right? By default, you have a tooltip here. Like if you see a mouse over on a particular visual and bar or any other chart, you will get a tooltip, the black color. It gives information which day is January 14 and sales amount. You have a tooltip here, right? This is the default tooltip. So instead of putting it in the graph, you can have additional information over here, the quantity. So what happens now? So along with the sales amount, it will not have it in a visual, but you can have it in a tooltip. This is one way of achieving the end objective of the user. That is, he wants to see the sales amount along with the quantity. And another uh, way is like creating a custom tooltip like this. So I'm moving to another page. I move to another page. So you see here, it is it gives more information. Like so, on now uh, January uh, ninety, I filter with uh, let us filter the same month as the previous uh, chat. Okay, there you go. So <clears throat> this is like a custom tooltip. This is what we are going to create it right now. So what it gives is like, along with this uh, sales amount, the user can be able to see the quantity. And as I said, this answering the user second question, like if what if there is any surge in his uh, day, I mean surge in his data, and he wants to know which day it's happening, so Sunday. So Sunday being uh, good sales, here it's Wednesday. So he, he's tried to understand some patterns in his data. So I hope you understand this and let us see how to create this custom tooltip. So here it is. I have created this tooltip and I'm going to show you this is without a tooltip and I'm going to add a tooltip to this similar to what we have seen here. Okay, step by step. So let me create um quant t tooltip let let us keep it as uh, sorry for that <coughs> quantity tooltip okay i have i need to create a new page for this okay so let us change the size as okay page size should be tooltip then the page information make it as tooltip this is step number one then customize uh, your um, 
based on your requirement okay this time i want to make it as yellow make it as transparent and what do you want i want to have a quantity right so let us have that one instead of creating this let me take these visuals here okay okay i'm copying it just you can drag and drop okay what whatever you want it here okay now this is the new tooltip i've created that is step one is to set up the page setup second step is to create your visual of your choice okay then you are done in this page now go back to your report where you want to create your tooltip so here it's a default tooltip i don't want this uh, let us have it like that what you need to do is in this chart i want to enable a custom tooltip that should pop up this page right so click on this chart go to settings properties and here it is tooltip right in tooltip by default it is default tooltip available in the previous page that we have seen now you need to choose report page okay choose report page as soon as you choose it list of uh, pages will appear whichever chosen as tooltip okay in uh, step one we have did that now i want quantity tooltip okay this page should be popped up whenever you choose uh, a mouse over this visual so that's all so this is step number three now when you mouse over you will get the same date uh, tooltip that we seen earlier okay i hope uh, you guys understand the purpose when you want to choose a tooltip and it will give you uh, extra information along with your existing data and one more important point i want to highlight is like uh, once you have this uh, main sheets or pages you can hide these pages okay so that it will not appear for end user so user will see only these two pages so once you have this one then it's good to go okay guys i hope uh, you like this video share and subscribe to the channel comment below for your queries do remember that data is your asset